What are the main uh, things you want to get out of these final two weeks? Yeah, you know, we're pretty much done with our install. We've got the majority of our playbook in. So now it's about um, being precise, being detailed, um, finishing. You know, I guess now it's the point of spring where it's kind of hump day, hump period, where you're halfway, over halfway through. Guys can kind of get in a lull and, and feel sorry for themselves, a little tired. Man, we can't have that. We got to see guys fight through. We've got to see guys have a sense of urgency out on that field. Um, so it's from a, a mental aspect of just being dogs and, and, and love, love going out there, competing um, every play, uh, every practice, and then detailing everything, fine tuning the things that we've had, we have installed, um, playing fast, and then being ready for a great spring game. I told our guys right now, you know, in two weeks you're playing in front of 90,000 plus the Big Ten Network. Uh, parents are going to be here. Get yourselves ready for that game. And you do that by how you pr- how you prepare um, each time we're on that field. How do you feel they performed well today? We're just okay offensively. Defense now, I, I, I'll give it up to defense. They, they're, they're making us work. They're bringing it uh, every day. They've been pretty consistent and uh, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, um, they're playing hard. So they're making us work. And if, if we don't bring our A game, they're embarrassing us. And today, for the first half of practice, they got after us. And we didn't have our game, and, and it showed. Uh, second half of practice, we competed, um, and we did some good things. So uh, not up to our standards as an offense. We want to be the best offense in the, in the Big Ten. And uh, today we didn't practice like it, but uh, the defense, hats off to the defense. Uh, they're playing well, flying around, and they're making us better. Troy, I know a couple of years ago at UCF, your tight ends there put up some big yeah. numbers that yeah. second year. What's, what's the next step for this group of tight ends? That you have? Just that. We've got a good group, but uh, they've got to be, become playmakers, and they've got to be able to stretch the field. Uh, they're doing a good job in the run game. You know, we're pretty stout up front, but we've got to make sure that we become more of weapons in the, in the pass game. Uh, because uh, you know we're going to game plan and scheme where they get one-on-one matchups with linebackers and safeties, and they've got to win those. And so uh, Coach Beck and Coach Haynes are doing a great job of working with those guys to become more uh, complete pass catchers. And uh, they're staying after and, and working all that. And so uh, if we can get that production out of them, it'll open up everything else in this office. There's a man in that running back room that's impressed you in the last couple of years. Yeah, the name that keeps coming up is Brody. Brody Belt, I mean, he's doing an awesome do- awesome job, uh, not only as a running back, but also as a receiver. Um, he's kind of in that duck, that Wandell, Miles, a guy that can, you know, run the ball well in the backfield, but also he's a weapon on the perimeter. And, you know, we get him matched up against linebackers, he's going to win that most of the time. So he's, uh, he's done a tremendous job. Um, in terms of that group, and uh, you know, he's going to continue to see more work. Would you have expected that coming into spring that he'd be a guy that, that you'd be? Not right off the bat. Um, you know, he was on practice squad last year, and you really didn't know much about him because he's down with the defense. But uh, you know, he's uh, had a great off season. Obviously, it shows that he's uh, taking coaching and study the playbook and knows what to do when his number's called. And uh, you know, he has that grit. He has that want to that you that you like. Uh, he wants to be great, and um, he kind of has to plays with a chip on his shoulder. You know, walk on, undersize, but that's not going to stop him. So I love his attitude, and he continues to make plays. You challenge guys in the spring, Chris Sanchez. Uh, the landscape's going to shift a little yeah. with some of these incoming guys. Yeah, I had that talk with uh, my guys in the receiving room today. I told them, you've got six practices to show what you can do. And some of you all have been here a long time, a while since we've been here, and, you know, if you can't do what we're asking, then we've got to move on. And we've got some incoming guys, some incoming freshmen. And, you know, if we have to go out and find a grad train, we know we'll do what we have to do to make sure that we put the guys on the field to be successful. And so the guys know it. Um, they know that everyone is fighting for something. You know, it could be a walk-on just trying to make the 105, or, or we're, we've got some great walk-ons coming up. And, and so we're, it's a battle just to be on this team next year. And so everyone has something that they're fighting for. And there's a purpose going on in that field, and guys understand that, and uh, they've got to embrace that. You mentioned Andre Hunt a few yeah. times with receiver. Yeah. We just described his spring as he continued to take that next Yeah, he step. matured a lot. Uh, number one, he's, he's learned the playbook. Uh, he knows what to do. So he, he's another guy that can run. So last year, he didn't really know the playbook as well as we'd like, so it slowed him down. Now he knows the playbook, so he can just play. He can use his speed. Um, you know, he's going against Lamar and Decap every day and, and, uh, and uh, Cam Taylor. So, I mean, he's getting better. But, uh, you know, his toughness, mental toughness, 
last year he lack, lack, lackadaisical at times, uh, not focused at times, but now because he's working with the ones uh, and he's going against Decap and Lamar, he's got to be on it every rep. And uh, you've seen that. Uh, made a bunch of plays this spring, and so he's just got to continue to get better. And, and he's a guy that we're going to definitely depend on and count on this this fall. Did you see like a point where you kind of just just another year, you know, maturity, getting it, having a full off season, uh, you know, mental, Coach Duvall and his staff, he'll get you mentally tough. Uh, just going through the lifting and the workouts there, um, just competing uh, with Lamar and Decap and. Uh, you know, those couple months from end of the season to now, you just mature, and, and, and his role has changed. You know, last year he went from a five or six to a, to a, you know, number one, number two, number three, working with the one. So, you know, that alone can change your mindset, and, and he understands now that if he doesn't bring it, those DBs are going to embarrass him. Good, good. You know, we, we're making sure that he's healthy, making sure that his foot is good. And But he's athletic. He's powerful. Um, not only is he going to get on his block, but he's going to create movement up front and create a new line of scrimmage. And so, um, you know, he's still, still a little rusty, still learning the, the center position. But uh, by fall, he should be in good shape. You know, he's, he's a tough worker, hard worker. Um, you know, he, he meets with Coach Austin uh, when he can. And so uh, he just needs to get caught up to speed with the, the details of offensive line play. But he's doing a heck of a job considering, you know, he just, he's just been moved over there. Does he still have the same kind of athleticism that you guys saw last year, given that he's at Oh yeah, oh yeah. He, he he's an athletic center. That's what that's what we want our centers to be. Athletic guys that can snap, pull, get to the edge, but they got to be tough enough, sturdy enough to block a a nose. You know, most noses in this league, you know, Wisconsin and I, and they're, they're going to be over 300 pounds. So you got to be tough, strong, but you got to be agile and, and uh, athletic to get to the perimeter. And he fits that bill. You've talked a bunch about everything starts up front with the line. Yeah. Like you learned anything about that group? They're still coming together. We've got some, you know, we got some new guys, and, and, and those guys have to come together and gel and, and work as one. And so, you know, we're rotating guys and, and uh, you know, just getting looks at looks at different guys. And you know, once they, by fall, you know, they'll, they'll be in sync and, and, and know exactly, be on the same page and know exactly what to do. It all starts with center snaps, getting the calls. Um, and so Cam is still learning. And so, you know, another couple weeks here and then summer and then fall camp, get him where he needs to be and that'll help the rest of the offensive line. Good. All right, guys. Appreciate it.